Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to some uh, Friday, uh, pff, Friday, it's, it's Wednesday. Welcome to some Wednesday, Wednesday forts, because Wednesday forts, best forts. Oh boy. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Hello to everyone in chat, since we are just getting started here. Hello there, or Torrid, Kraken, Harry, Quinn, Rezzy. Theta, Hemanth, a stranger, the only lonely pariah, Takashi, Wari, Robert, Boop, the Snoots, Epic Gamer Person, Bitnit, Soviet Supporter, 60 Nice. Welcome one, welcome all. Looks like the lobby's already full, so we're going to be jumping right back into it momentarily. Yes. Forged at the party pylon? Yeah. Alrighty then. Uh, let's just jump into it shall we let me just select one of these this is not what i wanted is that fx it changed the name he updated it okay i'm fine with this good to know let's do it hello 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 there Ozilix. welcome in you love the rave pylon it is good it's a good meme i like the meme it makes it makes for a great emote too uh, Discord emote because we don't have Twitch emotes here. We do have on YouTube though, I believe. Alrighty, where's where me? Right here. And we're off. What is the bridge? Have you never seen a boat? Do they not have bridges? Recent obsession of watching Dune Spice Wars gameplay. I will say this. As much as I strongly dislike playing the game in its current state, it makes for great matches to watch. And it's it's why I sometimes play it on the stream for you guys, despite me hurting it the entire time. Also because I, I like the game's design and ideas. It's it's actually got some really cool ideas. Like it's got some great ideas and I love I love met so many of the designs. Hello there, Josh. Yay forts, yay forts! Yeah. <laughs> Your comfort game to watch. It is. It is quite, a, quite a fun game to watch. I do enjoy it. Been watching Spuglies do a completely different tech tree queue. Uh, I am interested if you wish to speak about the strategies and such. <laughs> so sort of like Noita stream loves it. You hate it gameplay wise. The reason I dislike it gameplay-wise is because it ha it is scuffed, as in it does not work as intended or as designed. Not because of its, uh, not because it's intentionally designed to be suffering, Warning. unlike launch detected. Well, hello there. Trav is coming in with the nuclear launch! How are you doing? Such an early strike. Coming in with some radioactivity support. Insert pun here. I've been working on my new crush. What do you think? I think. I love it. You know, what was it? Last stream, last Dune stream, we spent a great amount of time attempting to uh, try out different smugglers' builds and variations of them. Uh, actually, who do we have in the lobby here? I didn't check. Okay. Uh, that gives me some options here. I think I'm gonna take it. Do, do. 
up one level. And then up one level again. Slightly different layout here, and I have a reason for this, but it'll be a for later reveal. Not quite ready. They've been doing green, blue, then focus red, and haven't been touching the yellow till mid-game. That's a that's an sounds like an older style build. Um for a either that that build works really well for assassinations. Blackwood Smugglers could reliably do assassinations, or when they were when they were like the assassination faction. Uh, also for domination, which was you know awesome. Try to backpack battles. The, the game they were streaming a while back, and not be uh, addicted to it. I'm telling you, man, it's a good game. Any shenanigans tonight? Airship forts, tank forts, auto cannon, auto cannon. Uh, I think we're not going to do auto cannon today, but we will certainly be doing flying forts today. Uh, just as per usual, we are starting it up. Starting up for uh, the vanilla one. Then doing it for hegemony wins. Yes, right now, smugglers builds seem to only be able to do hegemony and just chome to some degree. Um, in terms of hegemony, they get outpaced by pretty much everyone, but due to a heavy focus on red, uh, they can bully players out of the game, and then hegemony behind. Seems to be the way Smugglers works in the current iteration. Um, that said, haven't gotten a whole lot of Smugglers builds to work, so... At least I haven't gotten the work myself. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this so I can swift adjust if necessary. Yeah. yeah, I've seen lots of troubles with that kind of thing. It's just smuggles. Smuggles doesn't feel like they're in a good place right now. Which means I have more excuse to play uh, non-smuggle factions, which I'm very okay with. And beautiful orbital laser. Uh, passing through the opponent, however... A little bit of over penetration. Solid hit. Oh, that was almost lethal. Uh, please no. It's not enough. It went through so much anti air. That's just unfortunate. Ah, yeah, no, they, uh... I... In the latest update of Dune Spice Wars, I've been preferring, um... Corrido, mostly. But, um... I did, I did try out Smuggles for a bit. Tried out everyone a little bit. Um, Fremen feel a, much better too. It's just, I, I haven't, I haven't been able to build up the wherewithal or patience to play the game since the last stream. <laughs> Greetings, Zoroboros. Welcome in. Do propellers stop working if they come out of the water? Yes, yes they do. <laughs> 
<laughs> you need more games that you play with the armies of minions. Yes. More strategy games required. Be doing uh, bot aimed weapons mod again. Um, that one seems to be rather unpopular uh, from a viewer's perspective. Uh, citing issues of me doing a whole lot of sitting down and base management and not actually paying attention to any of the explosions, which is true. It's just. Uh it is what it is. It's part of the mod. Those orbitals seem almost unbeatable because it's a bad anti air. Yeah, a bad RNG on the anti air, um, and then generally not enough anti air on the team. Like, we had one and a half players of the anti air. Which is not quite enough. And then I had. And I had multiple flak, but they just missed entirely. So, uh. That happens sometimes. Like, we don't have nearly enough hands here on the team. Any plans for future content? Absolutely. I already have multiple videos being edited. You kind of like the auto cannon mod? I do too. Ooh, unfortunate. Door got penned. And, ooh, follow up laser. Ooh, that's gonna be devastating. Door not quite. Oh, and Jesus has forsaken? Yes. Yes, yes, they have. Not necessarily even strategy, just to just summon wall of turrets or something to fight for you. Understandable. Uh, top base on the enemy team has gone up to four cannons, which is, you know, devastating. And will inevitably win the game, barring, uh, immediate, immediate, uh, changes. Yeah, as you can see, the, uh... The shots are crossing the field to Team 1. Hardly contested. You can't let that happen and expect to, you know, survive. Top base is just top base, and the enemy team is going to be uh, obliterating team one here momentarily. And oh, it's gonna miss, and a second miss, huh? Maybe defending gets an orbital laser, anti air, anti air shuts it down pretty hard. Um, also, it doesn't actually deal that much damage. Uh, that's why sandbags tend to work so well. But as you notice, like, Team 1 has no ants here whatsoever, so they're just trouncing over it. Like, it's the same thing with all these other weapons. They're just taking hits after hit after hit and not defending against it, so... It is of no surprise. I mean, at this point, it's it's like dominoes falling down as snowball is going, so it's inevitable. Not that much damage. It, it isn't. It's just that if you, if you look at this from the top, there's exactly four struts of wood between the core and the uh, and the would be laser. That's. That's not much defense. That's practically an undefended core. A single cannon shot. Most weapons, a buzzsaw, 
just destroys that immediately and takes the core out behind it. If you remember, this guy ate two lasers across his top and lost nothing. So uh, that's that's generally how that works. Well done. Well done, team two. Hey there, Jimin. Welcome in. How you doing today? Hey there, Billy. Welcome in. Do energy shields work against orbital lasers? Yes, yes they do. You can absolutely energy shield and reflect it. Got a map made for flying forward? Several. Although, realistically, the basic... Uh, the basic... High seas maps are generally really good. Wrong slash. Okay. Had a long day at work, I could imagine. But that's why we're here now, today. To, uh... That's a nice, good old-fashioned relaxing, yeah? How's Dawn and the rest of the solar-powered lawnmowers doing? They're alright. There was like three of them out in, the, uh, out in the lawn earlier. Just, uh, hanging out, doing what they do. It's always funny to watch them just grazing. Now you can watch some explosions. Yes. That's what we're here for. We'll be here for quite some time. Good evening there, Phoenix. How are you doing today? Let's see, I have ideas. Most of them bad, but they are ideas nonetheless. You grew up raising grass powered lawnmowers. We're referring to cows now. Is it sheep, perhaps? I've heard many, many a fanciful story about such creatures. Goats? Goats? That's another good one. Cows? Ah. Yeah, I've... I don't have much experience with cows. Uh, my area does... I do see them every so often. Uh, just driving down the street and there's just, you know, a pasture of cow off to the side, but um, I don't interact with them in any meaningful way. Been playing a Horizon Forbidden West, the PC release. Already put 47 hours into it. Okay. I haven't heard much about that game. Uh, I've heard the title a few times, but I never actually looked into it. Where in the world am I? Uh, North America. I know, big shock. When they cows, would those be lawn mowers or lawn mowers? Hey, 
That's a good one, actually. I gotta remember that one. here is set up as well. Toss you here just so you have something. Will delay my weapons a little bit, but can work with that. please. Next, get you going here. The way we go. Start. All right, and Sierra is online. You can tell because the laser did nothing to us. Sweet. So we're looking for more of this. Law of proximity dictates that I must fire upon that player in particular. going. I need monies. Money, 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 money. It looks like we got a solid pen shot here. Man's trying to doorstep me. I approve. But I also have concern. Right, we gotta increase the doorage here. Uh, I need to ramp up the anti air as well. A little high, I think. Keep the upgrades flowing. Uh, 
Oh, nice shot from on top. Alright. Uh, so with that player gone... Helps me somewhat. Um, can I... Get prepared here. Did that land? Oh, it was outside. I couldn't assist. It was too far outside the, uh, too far below the shot. Let's go aim this down. Aim this down here, too. Oh, that's a good hit. Um, this guy's got a lot of upgraded wet turbines here. So I got good news and bad news. Good news is... I won't be getting... I will Um, I guess it's not really good news, is it? I say it was like good news is it won't be uh won't be getting blasted by a laser anytime soon. But that's not really true. It depends on your definition of soon. Welcome in cloud. Ten? Ah, so close. Working our way through him. A little high. Solid hit. There we go. That's a that's a good hit. We're hitting his economy. That's what we want to see here. Sweet. Hmm. It's the look of a man who's trying to hit me with. Multiple laser beams. Alright. We needed way more anti air to deal with this. Uh, so that's, you know, unfortunate. But we did keep much of our base. I don't need this here anymore. Let's see. Let's get this fixed up. We do have some good news in that a uh, couple players have been eliminated on the other team. Which means as long as I don't, you know, die... All right, and I'll be fine. Yeah. Well, as long as I'm alive and the team continues to shoot. Which they seem to be doing. So I'm okay with this. Blast him. Very effective. <laughs> Never seen two orbitals at the same base. Yeah, it was a bit... Intense to uh, very, very bit intense. Did a lot of damage, but so did they. I'm actually curious what exactly took out this player. Is it teammate coming in with the triple? It was. Then this happened. And I missed the second hit on the orbital. Which is unfortunate. And we got bisected there, which you know happens sometimes. Double kill, yes, very effective. Uh, 
All right. <laughs> Good. As long as I'm alive, I can watch us win. Yes, something like that. Hey there, Mr. Celsius. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Actually, I should say, welcome back. It has been a while, hasn't it? Cloud is observed. He is observed. He is now a play. Yes. Best one is when he didn't have to lift the finger for. I disagree with that, like, vehemently, but... Uh, hmm. You haven't seen the D-Day map in a while? You are correct. Shield helps against orbital, too, because you used it on the reactor. Uh, yes, shield does, does reflect the orbital. position all right energy hmm to do so many things to fix done with that then you can move up in the tech and now we wait how do you counter shotgun multiple armor layers uh, sniper works okay uh, heavy weapons often like cannons um, it's Notably effective against shotguns. Like, like, like if they got a shotgun, what do you it's just blast it with a cannon? Lasers. Probably some of the most common tools to see against shotguns. If you look at the uh, Forts Pro League matches, you'll have like one team going for shotguns and like missiles to get the team going for, uh, what's it called? Going for heavier weapons. We see your uh, fire beam, plasma beam combo comp with, uh, with the like howitzer on the other side. Notoriously effective at solving such problems, yeah? If I build this, it will be literally undefendable, and so I would prefer not to. Uh, so I shall do this instead, because this will be 
more defendable at the ob cost of being obviously risky. here. There it is. Better. Now I can do this. And this. There we go. Much better. Hello there, Andromeda. Welcome in today. How are you doing today? Um, yeah, this is not in the way of teams, so we shall leave this be. This will have to be adjusted soon, but for now, we do this. send this generally this way. Alright, so ants here exists in notable amounts on both sides of the field. Which is, you know, good to know. This player hasn't fired yet, which is absolutely a mistake, given that they're using relatively underperformant weapons at this stage of the game. And are, uh, you know, not utilizing them. A little higher. There it is. Sweet. Well, that's terrifying to see. You love to see it. Hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. And that's a total player wipe. Lots of rockets. Honestly, surprise rockets is not a bad strategy. It's just, you gotta use them. But once they're revealed, and once anti air in general has been revealed, you gotta blast it as quickly as possible. Oh. Broke a piece of wood with that sniper shot. Don't see that every day. gonna be a B oh the shotgun hey yo 
I'm okay with this. Oof. Just wondering if I should go aircraft. There's a reason I don't start doing that now. Beautiful hit, and massive damage. For a second I thought he was going to survive, which would have been hilarious to me. Let's see if we can get up here. Not before he covers it up, but that's about as well as he's going to get. Alright, sweet. Okay, which one is aimed at which? It's aimed high. So we need to do this over here. Alright, so that one's aimed a little high. There's the cap size. Can I snipe it? I can snipe it. Sweet. Don't think I get it before it uh, gets defended. I do not. This needs to be slightly lower. It's otherwise reasonably well aimed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the fire beams did not help him there. Oh boy, that's disgustingly. Ah, <sighs> visual effect it updated, which is a mod. This is a mod that updates the. Vi it's a graphics mod. Graphics mod update style, uh, courtesy of Samster Birdies. Once again, two planet style game, but Warhammer 40k. That would certainly be fun, in my opinion. At least I love the idea. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's three matches in this lobby. You know what that means. That means it's time to get a brand new lobby. So if you guys want to come and join, now is the opportunity to do so. As we'll be re-hosting here, first come, first serve. We'll be doing some flying forts. So feel free to jump on in, and we'll get it going. And uh, for everyone else who's not jumping in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that follow button, that like button, leave a comment down below, because that's how you know what goodies to do. And goodies you enjoy. The best motivation for more content. At least, more content of that style. So we have more content like this coming up every single week, multiple times a week. Let's do it. Alright then, so we're going to be throwing on the flying forts. So, build... Remove no build and then ships conquer the skies and with it, yes, we doing some boat forts here. In fact, let's go ahead and start out with something exceptional. I was a duck mafia. They're all right. Um, <laughs> my uh, little brother is learning, learning about the duck mafia because they recently moved nearby here, and uh, as such, they're experiencing the duck mafia themselves. So they um, they got to watch the ducklings spawn by the hundreds, which is you know. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's get this going. Another home fresh stream. Uh, the root. No, we're not doing a sponsored stream today. If that is your question, there, you Dale.
You love calling it a duck mafia. They certainly act like it. Duck mafia is a well-deserved name. All right. Well, we are already about soft locked, which is unfortunate. See if that helps us here. Okay, we're deleting resources without storing them. That's another problem. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's be careful with this. All right, well, that, that was... Certainly a messy start, but uh, we're alive. Sometimes it's all you can ask for, you know? Okay, so what else is working on that? Start working on this. Separated technologies. Attach the sides, remove these. It's almost like the core was never here. All right then, um, how do I wanna handle this? I think we're going to start doing a little bit of a starship here, just to get, because it's the running theme. I will say it is probably many fold more effective to not do starship stuff or, uh, you know, flying fort stuff, but going to do it and that's all it's that's all there is to say about it I think the I think I did not properly account for the effect on having a large uh, base associated with the whole um, thing here Multiple cannons, all right, that works for me. Let's get more of a jump start, please. Oh boy. I'm reclaiming all of this material and it's being spent faster than I can do anything with it. It's gone. Alrighty then, uh, what else are we doing? Well, we need some ants here. For reasons. Uh, well that's just deeply unfortunate, but... I'll have to live with it, I suppose. Those ready to go. We get any ants here whatsoever. I 
That definitely needs to be shifted downwards, but we can live with it. Alright, uh, can I adjust this without leaving it completely open? I would like that. The answer is probably yes. That felt like a tier three hit. More tier three. No big deal. Alright, now I can get rid of this. Uh, we've morphed it substantially. Come the T3s. T3s are devastatingly effective around here. Uh, we will not have any in the foreseeable future. yourself potentially that is an option all right let's get this this that's not what I wanted to do this is what I wanted to do Oof. Looks like we're getting some hits out there. see any other airships in this guy, so it looks like we're doing reasonable in the combat up there. Right, let's get a little bit higher with this, please. There we go. Ships in the sky. All right. Means we are free to engage with other weaponry. You have to be careful with it, of course. All right, then. Let's get one of these going. That's a concentratinator. And it uh they got a sniped down one of the weapons with it. Alright, let's 
start expanding. Definitely running into a no build zone there. No build zones have been removed. I'm very okay with this. from above with those cannons. You'll love to see it. All right. Why you know... Sniper does not work. Okay. This one. That one works. This one also works. I think there's a sniper somewhere causing an issue. I don't know why or what it is. Is there a sniper up here? No. Oof. reason this one won't fire. I don't know why. Beautifully done. Alright, so let's try this again. Might make ourselves a little problem for the opponents to deal with. I'm sorry, you what? Oh, nice. So that was, uh, that was a good time. Giant orbital cannon platform, very effective. No idea why we couldn't shoot the nukes there. I was unable to figure it out in time. But, uh, we got it. Mm. I only see three... Po three here, but it says 4v4. Okay. Let's do it. <sighs> what happened? What happened was an incredible amount of cannons rained from above and we blew up their fort with incredible firepower. Quite effective. I wonder if there was a solid wood block in the view. There wasn't. We were able to shoot it sometimes. Just not all the time. Do, 
do, do. Accelerated nukes. Nukes don't go faster the longer they fly. You can't accelerate nukes. Uh, rockets you can accelerate, but it's generally not worth doing. And do AI controlled weapons? Unlikely. Hello there, Mary. Welcome in today. Alright, let's get this, this, and this. Hello there, Fahrenheit. Welcome in. How are you doing today? We are um, on the defensive front. Civilian sector. Is this kind of civilian sector? I don't think this guy's a civilian sector. Letting the hell die was you the hell die of things today. While well, we out constructing, I think I think we're I think we're the uh, the armed forces doing the doing the construction and such behind the scenes while the hell divers go out and uh, reclaim territory for us. Yeah. Not using the AI shooting mod today. Uh, not at the moment. No. If you guys want it, we can throw it on. Uh, but at the moment, we're doing some flying forts. We already have a uh, beautiful looking construction yard here. Think you can particle accelerator mortars? You can particle accelerator mortars. And works reasonably well. Uh, the more competitive version of it doesn't accelerate them. Combat engineer today? Yes, yes we are. Yeah, I'm very okay with this. Need to increase knockback? No. Uh, speed and velocity of weapons has no impact on the, well, impact of the target. No more damage, no more, uh, no more knockback, nothing of the sort. velocity. A little counterintuitive that it doesn't deal, you know, more, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, we are the overdrive commander. It's going to make our lives a little more difficult. Um, Alright, so we start with... One of you, one of you. This going here. Oh I probably want to get heavy weapons going. Ideally, before the whole impending doom comes. Expensive of a prospect, I suspect. Could you use flying forward as your energy production? Hide it in a corner or something? Yes, yes, you could. That is most cer certainly something you can do.
think, however, I would like to get some of this going. So the next one. All right, uh, four seconds now. There we go. Fences here, among other things. Uh, let's do one of these here. Oh, that's going to be annoying to deal with. Oh, he's crunching himself here. Which I can take advantage of. Kind of. Alright, so those gunners are facing this way. I only have to worry about these. If I get directly over them, could be in a pretty alright spot. Oh, space laser from above. Oh, that's devastating. have mercy for they shall not go on go oh it is going oh that took a lot of damage to take that much damage from here. Okay, so we're going to have to armor this up a little bit, it would seem. Let's go ahead and drain those machine gunners of bullets. So many. Alright, so I need a different strategy here, I think. Certainly not from this elevation. However, I do know an elevation that tends to work pretty well. Uh, this one. Go. Oh. Sadness. I mean, I got him. Um, but, oh god. It's not completely crashed. Everyone's gone. Alright, so we'll see if we can get 
back in here. I'm amazed that our Kamikaze craft is still uh, alive. <laughs> crashed them all. I did. I, I thought I crashed myself. <laughs> um, I did not see that one coming. Bombs already kills the game. Clearly. Yeah. Hmm. Bad, bad. Very bad, bad. Yes. So there's a chance that we never recover from this. Um, <laughs> Bloom so hard everyone felt the, sh felt the shockwave. Yes. See if they can make it back in here. He's still alive. It's not a very good comic crazy craft. Well, I didn't expect it to survive. Let me put it nicely. Uh, but I can, I've got a second base now, I guess. I can just kind of plant myself over there and float. Um... In the scale of one to Eaton, how good would you say you are at forts? Uh, it's not Eaton. Here comes Comcast. No, actually, Comcast is... For the past couple of days, like within a week or so, Comcast has been stable. Uh, we had... We have had a couple Comcast events, but not debilitating, so... Which is interesting. Alright, so I think... We're still missing one, but if I resume, I may give an opportunity for a couple players to uh, get back in here. Or at least make an effort to get back in here, I say, as the... Uh, okay, well, that's a, uh, it's a full desync. Is it a full desync? I'm just not going to do anything. might be an unrecoverable desync. Oh. I heard things happening. Like structure being placed. But. Nah, this is, yeah. I just let it go. All right. Try it again. Oh, hey. All right. So everyone made it back to the lobby. This is this is understandable. Hello there, sheepster. Welcome in. Amazing craft survived. Yes, very amazing craft survived. Did not expect. Forts is loading. What have you done? <laughs> Tier 3 lag, good is amazing. Clearly, clearly. Can we say no kamikaze? We can attempt to enforce such a rule. In my experience, attempting to enforce such house rules is a mistake for these kind of things. Um, because there's always someone who's going to do it because it's a random lobby filled with random internet denizens. Or, you know, viewers who just generally like to get excited and do things. And so they'll be like, oh no, we won't, we, we will follow the house rule, and then they don't. So just let it go. Kamikaze, as strong of a strategy as it is, is defendable. Defend it. Could you just build a answer and deliver it to someone's court? Yes. Force not loading. You may want to attempt to repair your Forge client there, uh, Magma Bot. And curses the musical. Oh no. I think it's more about the desync it causes. Yes. That doesn't stop people from doing it. So. Um, we just kind of got to deal with it as it goes through. 
or just kick people every other round. Both of which are options, actually. Um, I think I'm going to go with a different strategy altogether this time around. Given my position, I'm in a reasonable spot to do so. Destroyed everything, including the kitchen desync. Oh no. Travis! Why you gotta be so pun? Can you deliver an extra core to your opponent to see if they have the balls to shoot themselves and kill it? Uh, that is another thing you can do. Uh, that is actually something that's more commonly done. Because it's launching a core at someone. And so I want... I already have it. Alright, never mind. Can you use the jet engines to move your boats on the water? Yes, yes you can. Works reasonably well at that too. It looks like we don't have anyone going quick aircrafts on the opponent's team. That's not going to stop me from uh, getting myself set up here. Did a few things. I'm going to take advantage of this given opportunity to expand a little bit further. Let's do this to have a front spike. And then get ourselves set up. to stop people from going overhead. And I'm going to need an upgrade center as well. But it's a matter between the core and them. Yes, yes, you can absolutely do that. That is something doable. Uh, there have been times where players just float their core off of, like the corner where no one can easily get them. Or some maps will have like a divot in the back where it's near impossible to get the core without physically flying inside something. That happens sometimes too. So my purpose in life, I have designated myself this, though I am not in the premium position to do so, is to uh, point defense. Keep everyone else alive. One way to enforce against uh, Suicide FF is with uh, dedicated maps that build a small shield around the base. Yes, yes. Even then, it's it's uh, very difficult to... Even then, players will oftentimes get around it. So it's just... I generally find it just... Embrace it, TM. And... Uh, use in-game mechanics to counteract it, rather than attempting to... Rather than attempting to... Um, why is this so droopy? Rather than attempting to use the house rules or something of the sort. Uh, we do, however, 
have maps that have such precautions built into them, and we'll be utilizing them. Oh, I see. There's some actual map... Actual map shenanigans going on here. Um... I think if I pull this way, we'll stabilize it. I was wondering what's going on with that. I like, this is not normal. It's because it wasn't normal. Okay. So this is what my purpose is for. Deal with this kind of thing. Uh, my current range is a little short. But effective. Phantom, so I can just build this anywhere. Just ignited the whole bottom side. Here, across the team. How deep set are those mortars? Probably not deep enough. They are not. That wood will be. Fortunately, oh, lots of damage. There we go. Looks like he's coming in for the kamikaze. Got him. More or less. He's not out of it just yet, but he's in a... Well, that's unfortunate. And this player has been claimed by the opponent. All right. Hmm. Um, I'm in danger. This is the type of situation where we either have the team clutch up or we die. There's no real in between here. This is going to be an ungodly amount of firepower. Multiple bases worth of firepower coming in.
All right, I need more of you under construction. I need more of you under construction. You can upgrade to you if at all possible. And more of this. This guy's gonna have so much. Uh, how long until we have aircraft of our own? Never, it would seem. Okay. So unfortunately, it looks like we're not trying to build aircraft, which is going to make our lives very painful. I'm watching a carousel of weaponry. Good. All right. Man's got heavy missiles coming in. Um. That's not good for us. That's not good at all. You need to not be here. Whew. Is that it? Is that lethal? Not quite. It's close. Solid hit. Man's just continuously constructing. That's it. Ah, I didn't have. Couldn't click fast enough. I needed to get a second core online. Try to keep it intact. Too much money. Pain circus. Yeah, we don't have nearly enough enough firepower coming out here. Being able to steal an entire base. Didn't expect. I didn't expect to steal an entire base strat. Man, it's doing so well at burning this down, too. Of course, it wasn't enough. This was about to come into play. And yeah, that's it. Final teammates getting bullied here. Ooh, that was almost elimination. Here come the mortars. Imagine if I'd be able to get a laser shot over here, take this out, shut down pretty much everything, even negative energy production. Would have been beautiful. <laughs> Took the entire base. Yeah, I mean, it happens. That's how the tug of war tends to go. So much damage. I like watching the mortars fly. We have multiple cores if you're in the front. You really should have multiple cores at all points in time. Um, it was a mistake on my part to not have multiple cores. Still. I'm gonna fly the entire base. 
but uh, someone took out the flying stuff. I can't possibly imagine why we took out your flying stuff. You know, as you hovered directly over our bases, dropping stuff on us. Like, uh... Where was it? You're flying up here. You're going across here. And then you just so happen to drop directly on top of team my team specifically causing detonation on the core some core on core violence which was unpleasant you know, it happens <laughs> uh, waterfall out of physics it does indeed have physics gonna be another good one no you know is this is gonna be like two flying bases and two um, point defense bases can you armor your main core with steel plates and use an altitude controller to make it into a submarine um not really the altitude controller doesn't add weight it remove it adds lift and doesn't you can't add negative lift either so you can't go down with it you just go up faster and a submarine requires you to have force downward which it is possible to get force downward uh, but not with the altitude controller like you can kind of sort of do submarine things I can show it to you in Sandbox if you remind me after we finish out this lobby. It's, it's not something you regularly see in a... in a actual match or a multiplayer match just because it's kind of expensive. Like, very expensive. And time-consuming. Expensive and memey. Surprised some certain players don't do it as often as core swings. Well, core swings, core swings aren't as uh, expensive and aren't as memey. They also have generally a lot easier to do, and uh, some oftentimes better effects in terms of strength. I do wonder if I can pull something off that would let me get away with nigh immortality. course we're on planet Twids map in a tournament you mean what eaton did on balls yeah yeah we remember that one everyone remembers that one that one was amazing zoom zoom
What else do we need? Go one further down. Give us more space to work with things. And then... I don't really need two of you, do I? I'll do this for now. No cross we go. So as long as I live, I can have combat going through here, which would be a great time for most of us. Um, what weaponry do I want to use? This is happening. Well, you know, at least he's safe-ish. His mad lad doing mad lad things. Um, can I... Uh, I'm gonna need to combat this guy now. Which I'm okay with. Let's get started in a second one of you. Other things do I want? Let's get a few of these here. Another one of these here, question mark. Just so we have something going. Alright. So this is a high priority target. Because it's going to be expensive for them to replace. If I come over here, I can just kind of blast it. Though, I do need... To remove this first. Looks like he sees me here. There we go, there's one. And... Do I nail this shot? Not quite. Hmm. I don't know what I'm looking at here. It doesn't seem to be terribly impactful. There we go. Eliminated. Alright, let's get you going. Took some hits here. He's building up this, and I don't know what it is, but I would like it to not be here, just because he's building it, and for no other reason. How about you? Same kind of deal. don't have armor piercing weaponry right now. Okay, so this is happening again. And he's gone. Sweet. Alright, so that's armored in the rear. Um, there's a chance that I can do something here with this. Like getting right under there. Oh, 
hello. Uh, something got hit. It's a little unpleasant. Alright, he's armored this up. Let's droop you down slightly. Teammates getting bullied here. Alright. Can I get this going? Thank you. So miss. Alright, do you have to worry about this? Because this is about to be a problem. Yep. This is what the this is what the uh, doors are for. not get hit by that. Oof. You tried... for a few to handle. Uh, if I can get... Um, uh, if I can get aircraft online and operational, that would be amazing. Unlikely given the circumstances, but no reason not to try. Alright, who needs some bullying? I think front most base could use some love. from what aim a little bit further down there we go if I can take out his uh, energy then that will be probably the most efficient damage I can deal from this position barring eliminating a core I need to get myself prepared to add another cannon, or, you know, two, one of one of the two, whichever comes first. Laser could use it energy production. I mean, I could do the same thing with non-laser weaponry. It's just a matter of whether or not I hit the shot. Which is, you know, the same thing as laser weaponry. Yeah. 
great work. And let's aim over here. There we go. Player eliminated. Or at least core eliminated. Obviously players don't off, don't entirely go down when their cores are eliminated. Got a third thrown in now. Excellent. Bane blade noises. Oh no. Uh, let's see. This looks important. It also looks like team is doing a reasonable job at perforating it. This looks very important, and I think I need to perforate this before doing much else. This guy... I'm sorry. This guy is living too long for my liking. Thank you. He was... He was taking some risks, and it was concerning. He needed to not... He needed to not do what he was doing. Oh, oh that was close. This is why we have you off to the sides, yeah? To apply thrust when necessary, because we needed it all of a sudden. Alright. Look who's here. Looks like we lost one. This dude's trying to blast me. Excellently timed stealth. That's the hit I was looking for. Yep. Tore him all the way asunder. That's player eliminated. Or at least core eliminated. Oof. You'll love to see it. Alright. Uh, I think this guy has given up. This is the last one left standing. There's not much else for him. Oh boy. Use the air brake? But why would I want to use the air brake when I could go fast? Yeah, he's selling everything off. Well, that was an interesting match. Ah. You really, you really want to drive 40k tanks, but, but have you seen automaton tanks? That's just the Imperium of Red. It's like the Mechanicus all over again. Uh, so that is two. Nope, that is three rounds in this lobby. Uh, so you know what that means. It's time for a brand new lobby. If you guys want to come and join, now is your opportunity. Uh, one other thing, one other thing that I can show you guys is while we wait. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the submarine tech. And some, honestly, this is something I haven't done in a hot minute. Like a very hot minute. Um, I suppose this would be good enough. Is there anything else I need here? Just give this and fast build so I don't have to think about it. Okay. <laughs> give tank and funny sim and funny dying simulation. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh. It's sandbox, you don't have to worry about stuff. Uh, so you can do things like... You can do things like... Um, this. As long as you have some elements, as long as your core is surrounded... Um, by wood. Then it won't self-destruct underwater you can push it deep underwater if you want to like really deep underwater uh, just because i've done this before and i've had catastrophic consequences I'm going to do things a little bit strangely 
Uh, I say doing this. Recognize this stability tech. As you know, stability tech. This is fine. Okay, so what you do here is you uh, you get yourself a little a little set. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. 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 And you wait for it to uh, break off. And once it breaks off, you connect to it. I guess you're about to wait for it to break off. As one such structure is uh, no longer attached to you, it sinks. And it gets increasing, it tries to sink harder and harder and harder. You'll notice this rope is getting stressed and turns a bit blue. Uh, let me just do this over and over and over again. Why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? Alright, well, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Um. <clears throat> well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna try this again. Yeah. You have to make sure that the core stays uh, upright. Otherwise, it explodes. So that's something to look out for. Game said, no, nah, not again. Clearly, sad enough of my nonsense. Do it like this then. I'm not gonna do this stability tech again. It'll crunch, but whatever. There you go. Then you can make these, and then it sinks, and you get more. Caused by unequal underwater bits. Yeah, yeah. I was worried about that, but clearly not weird enough. And so this starts to sink. And you'll see it, it it pulls the boat down slightly. Not much, but slightly. And you can walk it all the way down and get some more distance on it. But uh, more importantly, you make a bunch of these. And then uh, as they as they sink, you get to pull more and more down. Ta-da! Beautiful. You can eventually pull yourself down really hard with this. You wanted to swim. Yes, yes, yes. You can actually do really fun stuff with it too. Like, uh, this one might get me to flip. But. If we do this. And then. Here, which one, is, which one are you attached to? There we go. And which one are you attached to? I don't know, let's, like, let's get rid of a couple of these until we get the right one. There it is. We have this attached to this, which is cool. Ta -da. But yeah, ideally you want it all attached to a, a central point or have it, uh, what is it called? Have it spread throughout. If you get enough of this stuff attached, you can get some pretty substantial, pretty substantial weight being pulled.
especially if you start doing stuff like this. Rotate off. There it is. This one will probably break the rope. It's a bit much, I think. Oof. Nope, we're good. Look, you're looking at mine depth charges. Uh, yeah, actually, it's pretty. It's pretty similar. There's a. Uh, it's it's getting a bit tight here on that spot. So we'll start pulling from here, and then from other sides as well. Ta -da. Well, you know, yoink. Do it. That rope is stretching so hard. There we go. Okay. In statics and dynamics fun. It is. It is, actually. You'll notice the core is slowly getting pulled down by this thing. And yeah, if you start building up, it gets pushed down even harder. harder. And you can end up with a core that's very, very deep. Um... It's a little bit difficult to get it all the way under the water because it's just kind of... It's, it doesn't submerge particularly well. Um, if you thought the pressure this thing receives on the way these things pull down, the core has an incredible amount of push upward. In order to combat that, you need some serious, some serious uh, internal tech. Otherwise, it just doesn't. We've seen some maps of uh, battle forts, I'm sorry, uh, battleships where we've uh, had a player spend just most of the game building these kind of depth charges, as it were. And just brings the core, just brings the ship, uh, brings the ship go to go around. Ship is kind of too wide to go down with that kind of weight. Yeah, yeah, you need, that's why, I, well, that's originally why I was having this thing to be a lot more slim so I can get the effect more, but clearly it wanted to... Clearly, it wanted to flip, which is unfortunate. If I do this, I find it likely that we're going to get uh, more issues. Um, what I was thinking is doing something like having a barrel, like dump the cord into the bottom. To force the growth linear exponential, does it have a limit? I, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm pretty certain it is exponential. Um, to a limit because I have seen I've gotten it down where like the core gets pushed down to extreme amounts like all the way down here and when it when it finally breaks and everything shatters the core gets launched like all the way to the ceiling I have actually seen an instance where the core hits the top of the map and detonates on the top of the map so it's, it's possible it's just it takes a lot of weight And I'm kind of surprised we're not pulling down harder than we are right now. But we are definitely and technically below the water. So much for making underwater crafts like a sub there is not, no. Using this to eat yourself into the enemy, yes. Is it possible to angle the launch to launch yourself the enemy? Um, not really. It, the force is always straight up. You can get movements and like rotational velocity, so you, it'll go up, but not necessarily straight up. Um, but you won't get much in the way of horizontal trajectory out of it. If that makes sense. Um, I think if I adjust this slightly and do this instead, we might get some better effect out of it. Because I can delete. Oh, that's not going to happen. I can say because I can delete this. This will lose a bunch of the bunch of the ones, but we'll have a few. We might pull ourselves down a little bit further. Our so core is definitely underwater now, as you can see. Yeah. 
And we can just keep getting more added in here. Ta-da! Expect, but I'm not sad about this. It dangles. It dangles so hard. Uh, so the question then is, can you get fully submerged into some kind of cheese situation? I have not seen it. As you guys can see, this is why we don't see this kind of thing in tournaments and such. Uh, you need to stop. Here we go. It's just, it doesn't give that effect that you're thinking of. Like, yeah, you can pull your core under, as we've seen here, but it's expensive, inconsistent, and doesn't pull it far enough under that it causes the game to uh, render you some level of immortal. But it is possible to go under the water like this. Nope, you need to... Stop it with the whole rotating thing. Okay. Hmm. Let me have nice things. Stabilize? Yeah, barely. It's more even. Nope, stabilized the wrong way. Overstabilized. Yeah, so we I mean we can get underwater and such, but it's hardly it's hardly um it's hardly a situation where we're uh going deep down and attaching somewhere or something like that. Now, if we wanted to go really deep, we could get rid of like all of this. About the deepest as we could get. And see how deep we can go now, other than not very. Uh, the most depth I've seen comes from when you have an entire fort sinking and just the core attached. Which is not very much depth. But it is depth. Yeah, so this is this is about as much as you're gonna get for the most part. This will probably get us killed here. Yeah. Goodbye, cruel world. If you want to see some real depth, uh, we can go over to a bigger map, like... Where's battleships? This will do. Even with the orbitals, there should be it in a vulnerable depth you can reach. Yes. It's only really useful for when you have devices that control the rest of the base. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Go for it. First off, let's uh, remove these extraneous cores. Which you can't quite remove even in sandbox, but it should be pretty simple to delete. There we go. Magic Dead Knight. Same thing here. And 
I will want to restabilize that before uh, committing catastrophe. Huh, a lot of that survived intact. So you'll see situations, you'll see this sometimes with uh, players when they're trying to concede. But what you can do is something funny. Is you get yourself a core. And you attach the core to the fort. Via ropes. Like so. And you use a lot of ropes. Like all of the ropes. Something like this. And then when you release, it becomes... Uh, no, not this. It becomes a uh, catapult of the greatest proportions. Because the moment you disconnect this, the core is no longer attached and falls. Now, this means that the entire boat will sink. And you have the entire weight of the boat pulling down. And it takes the core with it. And then the ropes eventually can't handle it. And... Spring... Well, okay. Well, it tried. All the ropes didn't break. The wood broke before the ropes. Um... But that happens. If the ropes had broken, then the core would have just gone flying to space. Almost got it. Almost got it. Uh, but yeah, you can pull it down. Uh, so that's that happens. That is something you can do. Pull the core all the way to the floor. Into the depths. That is a thing. Leave one or two ropes. I was trying to get it to go down all the way to the bottom, but I didn't expect the ropes to survive. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to break and launch it into the into the ceiling, but I had too too many ropes. A little carried away with the ropes. But only just barely. Uh, something broke my, uh... Something broke my, uh... Previews here. Let's do it. Uh, we're not gonna do AI-controlled weapons right now. But we need FX. We need ships. Conquer the skies, and we need to remove no build zone. Ta da! Lower agenda, welcome in. Let's do it. And away we go. Alright, have a good one there, Pyros. 
Hope you enjoy, and uh, rest well. Bum, 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 ba -da -dum, bum. What is it I was watching? I saw a bit of a grubby play on Dune Spice Wars today. Look at this, like... <sighs> It looks so much fun when he plays it. Or, you know, when anyone else plays it. Any tips for getting to the lobby? Um, realistically, uh, have good internet. Refresh. Often. Um, I do first come, first served. So it, it generally... Uh, moved to Florida. Unironically, it would work pretty well, too. Hey there, Langston. Welcome in. Uh, I do first come, first serve, which technically has a bias toward those with good internet. Uh, it's partially the reason why I do first come, first serve, just because it has a bias toward those with good internet. And therefore, more stable lobbies. Um, but yeah, it, it really is just a matter of... a. Uh, just refreshing and getting it. Getting in. <clears throat> How's it going for me? It's going it's going pretty well for me there, Dracos. Got myself some nice uh, green bean based stir chicken, a uh, turkey and green bean stir fry. Very spicy. Spicy style stir fry. It's, it's sweet and spicy is what it is. I liked it. Tasted good. Uh, from my position, looks like I'll be primary point defense. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, we got a pepperoni pizza with added cheese and red pepper. Ooh. What is it? Last stream we had a pretty lengthy discussion about pizza. Um, everyone's like, and curses, what's your favorite pizza? And I'm like, hmm. The kind that I don't eat. At all. Even a little bit. Alright, get you here. And then... Anyone? We do. I did not notice that. All right. Which is probably the reason why they built it like that. You have a few months. Yeah, you, you have a bad internet right now. But a few months to get fiber, that'd be fun. I can imagine. Lord knows, I would love fiber. This thing is still vulnerable to devastation if I can land this shot, which is not a good assumption. Oh, ho, ho, got it. Kind of. It counts, but is not great. A little low. Okay. I need this guy here. I also need this and this. It's still there, so a little higher. That's better. Got a good solid hit. No major damage. Well, that'll slow him down immensely, but won't remove him. So that's uh, good to know. Once these are upgraded, we should get some real damage output going. 
He moved. Okay. Unsurprising. He was probably the one himself who triggered it. Who triggered the move. Alright, where are you at? He's over there now. He's actually looking still suspiciously vulnerable to, uh... Buzzsaws. Okay. Let's get this guy going, which I'm surprised fits here. Now we have multiple aircraft incoming. Solid hit. That's a beautiful hit. Alright, so we took out most of his mobility. Shoot a miss. Get these up there now. That's just unfortunate. Where is this guy? Mm. That one's still over there, being over there. This is the kind of thing I was referring to when I was saying you gotta, you gotta defend. Like I may not be in the best position for most things. That man really took out three weapons with a single cannon shot. Alright. Including a plasma. This is what I like to call not good. Do this, this. Okay, so it looks like that character is. Oh no, they're just invisible. All right, never mind. gonna hit a teammate. Shouldn't deal much damage. Oh, no, it got blasted by a, uh... Huh. He kamikaze and, uh, nearly took out teammates, but didn't quite get it. Alright, I need this quickly, because I do not have energy production anymore. Expected. It's fine. Hello there, Hatsasino. Welcome in. G 
two over here. Oh boy. Energy production. Hard to come by these days. Very hard to come by these days. It's fine, it's fine. Got a couple of ships out there that I really need to start working on. Um, which I will happily do once I get a get a little bit more. Energy production going. There we go. All right. That was a nice little return to sender. Okay, so you need to get blasted. Took out something, but it wasn't important. Don't quite have the angle here. Can't move this. Um. in between the cluster. I'm sorry. Was that a return to sender? Up there. Man's got a return to sender on his... on his, uh... fort ship. Didn't see that one coming. I'm going to need to get this tech at some point then. forgot about the whole not having energy thing. They've really got... They're getting close, personal, and uh, problematic. Oh, he's over there. Just happens. Okay, you need to go here. You need to go here. I can't aim up that way. Not with this weapon. Alright. Need you upgraded. Need you here. Uh, teammate's in the way. I can't blast it. What just happened? I hit the teammate's cannon. Oh, it's right here now. Okay. Until I can get this. Not very. At a moment, nonetheless. Took out most of his weapons there.
<sighs> that sounds suspicious. Like there's more stuff here. It's because there's more stuff here. I took out something important. Not enough to knock it out of the sky. See, he sniped out my rocket, which I kind of need. As soon as possible, if possible. Alright, we just overpanned him. Good. Where did he go up there? Hello. Cannon guy really needs to go away. If you know at all possible. Those return descenders also really, really, really need to go away. I just launched that. He just got penned to something fierce. You love to see it. Alright, is he down? Uh, he's looking a little down. I don't know that I can... Oh, I blew up something important. Not enough to knock him out of the sky. Wants him dead. I don't blame him. What was that? Oh, this is a hostile ship right here. Teammate, blast it! Tell me this cannon guy, sweet Jesus, that was cannon guy. Good job, team. Alright, this should give me an opportunity to, oh, to not do much, really, because I don't have... Yeah. Energy to do much. Owing to, you know, cannon guy. 
This is happening. You should have cannons online soon. That can kind of sort of deal with this. I need to remove these, I think. Before that mortar starts taking up and taking them out. They're still invisible. Alright, good. Alright, good. Hello there, Brownosaurus coming in. With the raid, how you're doing tonight? Are you having a good time? Because I sure am. Playing a mainline defense for the uh, team here. Trying to keep us intact as best we can. Solid hit up there. That's friendly. Looks like he doesn't have the uh, ability to repair, which makes my life a little bit easier. This thing's still over here. Done the seven hour stream. Hey, uh, what were you streaming today? Let me. I want to hear about it. Got him at the door, Snipe. Oh, it's so pretty. Alright, so we've wiped them out of the air. Uh, this is still here. I don't know what I can how to deal with this properly. That'll do. More or less. Took a chunk off of it. Got another heavy hit here. They're just constantly invisible. So, good news and bad news. Good news is, I'm hammering this thing. Bad news is, it's not dying. What? You ran out of energy. Doing some forts? Hey. Uh, you know, I like that game. I like the sound of that one. So this man is clearly attempting to destroy this. Because this is, you know, here. Is that gone? This looks suspiciously gone. Alright. You've got an ally doing flying forts things, which is what we want to see. They have been cleansed from our half of the map. And we have stability. In all directions, all fields. Alright, now I just need a little bit more battery here. I'll leave this guy hanging out down there. Uh, that's fine. Got him. Door snipe, best snipe. I do have an EMP here, just in case. We've still got our mortars up top, just in case. Should be good to go. <laughs> Disintegrated? Yes. Yes, you did. It's my favorite kind of integrated. Looks like they're getting another aircraft going here. And I think... Barely missed it. Mm. Still struggling for the whole energy thing. Um, uh, I think I cannot get something here. If I recall correctly. Not even a battery fits here, right? Yeah, no. The sandbag fits there, for whatever that's worth. It does not. Alright, well, you go here now. They are invisible once again. Which means I just need more... Um... More places for storage. Which 
means we gotta do this, and there's not much else for it. Are they visible once again? Yeah, they are. I think he's drifted back into... Nope, that's a straight of miss. Okay, then. Hello there, Baffle Kanachan. Welcome in. Where does this go? Nowhere. Okay, so you guys are no longer active for the time being. Bring you back out here. And yeah, there's that cannon. I love to see it. Stop burning this guy to the ground, eh? Just making a mess. The moment I'll bring you back down here. We'll follow up with this. And just shoot it into the same spot as the team. Because I can. <laughs> Nothing like saying hello to their plasma laser with your own. That, that's twice I've that's twice I've blasted them. Oh hello, look who's here. You he moved very quickly with that. You know, credit to him. I am prepared for such things. That'll leave him reeling for a moment or several. There we go. Uh, so he's not quite out of it. Not sure where he went to the whole invisibility thing. But he was close. Yeah, there he is. Um, I have to be careful not to blast he made here. A little high. You can do it. There we go. Hit some of his lifts. On his engines, though. Alright, so that was a kamikaze attempt. Worth it. Alright, I got blasted from the front by the cannons. I can live with this. Lost a couple mortars, no big deal. Bring you down, bring you forward, as forward as I can go. Do this. Here we are once again, maintaining good position here. Whoa, decent guy. One of these days I will land that shot, but today is not that day. I need a small reserve of these. So I can have them as needed. Right, I need to do stability tech here. This is... Did I get hit with that? No. things. It's not the best ability tech around. I'll do something, yeah. Stop some of that crunching from happening. You're here. It's meant you're not here. One down. Got another one there. Or, you know, you just get a cloak again. That, that happens. Did I lose a mortar? No. What did I lose? Not sure what I lost. Lost an EMP somewhere along the way. Which I would like to have emergency EMP available to grab. Which I cannot do because I lost technology. Alright, sweet. Let's put you back here. Hate it, but it lives there now. Alright, where's this guy? He's over there. Alright, 
Definitely can bring that. I'm being shot from behind. Uh, nope, not directly. That's just, uh, inconveniently placed return to sender. Here. <sighs> Need to rotate this around. It's covered in return to senders. I can't. I can't. Yeah, like you, you can't not shoot at it. Alright, so that looks like it's dead. I hope, I think. You did that to yourself? I don't think you did that to yourself. I'm almost entirely convinced you didn't do it to yourself. That looks suspiciously like he blasted you with it. This is going to return right from whence it came. Can I get you up here? Because I don't have emergency EMP available just yet. It looks like he wants to come in from that side. This is going to hurt. I shot him away for now. That's a hit. Um, bruh, how do I do this? All right. I need front base to deal massive damage to the enemy as soon as possible. I don't have a way of dealing with the EMP, or dealing with that without EMP. And this needs to go upwards, which is not going to happen. Without substantial adjustments. There's one. He's right in front of me. Alright. So that's not a good place for my teammate to be. However, he's not in... a uh, Dude. Please. Yes. Go. I can't quite get a shot here. Well, that's just hanging out here now. Where's he going? Nowhere. Nowhere is where he's going.
This man is losing so many cores and such here. Alright, that was his final core. Got it. No more of that. For now. Sweet. How long until... New weapon... Here. We begin assisting the front end of things. Like so. Alright. It's not where I wanted to hit it, but... That is where I hit it. Front base got some sh movement. Yes, yes they do. It's a hit. What just happened? Oh, I got shot. Okay. moving. Gonna miss. Uh oh. Uh you need defenses or to be in a position that I can cover you. You are not currently possessing either of those things. Did I blow off my own door here? Okay. Of course they're invisible. Alright, swing to miss. Well, that's bad. Well, that's really bad. I think I think it's about to be the end for the uh, the team here, boys. Can I hit this, or is it too high? I can. It's gonna leave him in a rough position. Also gonna... Oh. I'm sorry, you what? Oh, that's death. There was a... He just built forward. And blasted. I did not see that one coming. Look at it. It's just rounding out there. Of course, it's got too much wobble for the wibble. Alright, well... Explains also also explains why I didn't see it because it wasn't there moments ago. See, just rapidly reconstructed all that thing right out there. It's getting worse. Yes, yes, it is. Man, he was kitted to deal with that. Okay, uh, what else can I do here? Hmm. 
Rip teammate. Took out a mortar, but worth it. I am out of weaponry. And took way too much damage in that. He's just gonna go inside and touch, and it's gonna be the end. Goodbye, cruel world. Ugh. <sighs> Tried so hard. Did so much damage. Well played, well played. There's a reason there are no more zeppelins. We went from having total map control to dying uh, rather rapidly. Let's do it again, let's do it again, let's do it again. Meta is so bad. Yeah, it's not fun. At least it, it is not the most fun of the metas. But uh, it is counterable, you know, assuming you don't... Uh, shouldn't have upgraded durable. Probably not. It is, it is counterable. You just have to have players who know how to counter it. And a lot of players don't know how to counter it. A lot of players struggle to even play the game vanilla. Let alone uh, deal with kamikaze. You have to have map control. You have to gun them down. You notice I was able to knock them out. I was able to knock them out rather rapidly right up until you know i got blasted by the uh, orbital then i just didn't have enough weapons didn't have enough map control capabilities because otherwise in so long as i had line of sight of them they were getting knocked out of the sky you just need to kill the thing yeah kill the thing or realistically you don't need to kill the thing immediately you just have to shoot it to the point where it can't control itself which is really easy to do and then you can gun it down at your leisure Just commit damage and then finish it eventually. But you can't do that if you don't have weapons pointed out, which means you need to have weapons going early on. A lot of players desperately struggle to, ha to do that. I mean, something as simple as a sniper can be devastating. Also requires you to, you know, be paying attention and such. Like a top most player in that last round had a dude flying up at him, and I was shooting at him, and a teammate was not, even a little bit. Wasn't turning his weapons to point around, wasn't doing anything, as far as I could tell. And then he just got blasted, and I couldn't do anything about it, because, you know, it was inside, you just got inside teammate eventually. I probably shouldn't have constructed that when I can construct this instead. And we'll go up and fight fire with fire. Most effective tactic is literally suicide. It is one of the most effective tactics, yes. And it is certainly a feels bad moment. But you know what's coming, and you know how to you know how to stop it. And once you stop it, you can do anything else you want. You just gotta stop it first. To give out it like a Starcraft, where baneling busts are the meta. There's gonna be a lot of baneling busts going around. And you know how to stop the Baneling Bust, and if you hold the Baneling Bust, well, Zerg player is about to have a very bad day because he spent a lot of money on a Baneling Bust and didn't, you know, get anything done. Same kind of thing as the uh, Planet Side Tank fights. Kind of sort of not really. Um, yes, but in Planet Side, 
when the C4 flash comes through, you don't get... Like, the, the player dies, but... The, like, the player dies, and that's it for the player. Here, it doesn't cost the... The only thing the attacking player loses is money. So... Like, they lose units, specifically the... Uh, Specifically, the little airship that they sent out there. And so it's on you to capitalize on that by doing things like, you know, shooting them back. Because if they spent their stuff on making a kamikaze ship, you know what they don't have on their base? Weapons. You know what you have on your base? Weapons. Uh, yeah, it's like StarCraft. You get your economy, you got your goodies, you just gotta go. Many ways to not die while doing it. That is, you know, that is true. Bail before sending it out. Okay, uh, let's get this started because I think I want to do this one first like here we see multiple players on the other team providing map control effects and sniping this is something that makes life difficult for uh, players like me and we need to contest this. Like it's kind of necessary. It's kind of very necessary. don't contest it you start asking questions like how did we lose well you didn't stop them from shooting at you then they shot at you then you exploded why, why did that auto oh you mad lad that's not going to work as you want it to yeah. That is a cannon. Which is terrifying to think about. Go on, finish it! Oh! Alright. Alright, so I got this thing up here, which is concerning. This thing looks more vulnerable. So I'm going to aim at this instead. Got some metal innards there. A little higher. Did he hardwall that? Yes. Definitely hunting me here. Oh ho ho! Swing and a miss! I was on him. Right. This is not done yet. Uh, what else can I get here? Yeah, okay, that was close. I 
knew that was coming. Just, just hoping it wasn't going to hurt so much. It didn't actually hurt so bad. He's already got a door on it. Understandable. Got it. I tried so hard. I was like, why can't I build a wind turbine? Ah. The thing, it didn't fit. All right, well, unfortunately, I also lost my movement capabilities. That's not going to come back for a hot second. Uh oh, it's bad. You'll be missed. Alrighty then, uh, we go over here. Try this again. I'm looking for looking for this. <laughs> Let's play dodgy simulator. They ha it's a three v one. Oh well, I don't have the weapons for this, do I? Um. Alright. Was that friendly? No. Oh lord, have mercy. Uh, let's get some more of this active. I need an upgrade center if possible. Nice shooting, teammate. this thing over there. Alright, come on. Well done. Two down. Put the space and then platform here. It's hiding in with the teammate. Can I get it? Yes, ish. right here question mark where did it explode I think it exploded jump into that uh 
Um, yeah. So it hits. All right. Uh, let's. Uh, what else do I need here? In just in case of emergency. See if we can't slam here. There it is. That's one down. Let's get ourselves set up a bit more like this. I need to get some actual movements over here. Just in case we need it. I'm going to want two of them so I can slide them around as necessary. Doesn't fit there, which is a problem. Let's make sure it fits here kind of important. Okay, no option here. Oh, ho, ho. that was close. Right, what have you got over here? What are you doing with this? I think it's just a sta bog standard return to sender, didn't, which I didn't expect to see. Need an upgrade center. All right, let's go. Let me go down to this level. I should be able to commit violence up here. A little, a little much. All right, so we need this technology and a. Uh, and the MP going. It's not the only option, but it's uh, it's pretty good. This has the glorious feeling of P20 AA. Wait until you see when we get a uh, proper tier three. Go on with it. A little low. Because you can have tier three cannons. Just like, so you know how you can take a tank and just prop it up on a rock, point at the sky, and blast? And the same thing you hear with cannons, which I'm pretty certain you're familiar with. Doing the, uh, the tier 3 cannons up there. You get yourself a set of tier 3 cannons, you can blast everything in the sky with it. It's very effective. Alright, that's a good hit. That's what we're looking for. It also has the side effect of uh, being quite strong versus uh, boats in general, which is, you know, good. Looks like they're getting a little close. Teammates slowly backing off and should just be able to blast this guy to kingdom come. Uh, if I can... If he can get a little bit of distance or I can get underneath him, I can pitch up and... Okay, yeah, there you go. Three cannons and just perfect perforation. Uh, is this a good shot? Across the top? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's going to be obnoxious for him to clean up. Sweet. Alright, let's do this. 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 This.
Oh, I missed. It's escaping. It looks controlled, like a controlled escape too. Huh. I'm surprised it's doing as much damage as it is. You're not quite done yet. I do appreciate that I've been allowed to stay in the water this whole time. Really helps with the whole economy thing. That's a lot of damage. Unsaid gentlemen's agreement for sky battles. Uh, no. No, this is not. We have kamikaze things going on. It's just... Kamikaze isn't the only strategy. And uh, you see it here where they tried to do... We don't... I, I honestly don't know if they tried to do kamikaze stuff or not. And I will likely never know. Because we blasted them out of the sky. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, you can just... If you shoot back, kamikazes aren't the end-all be-all. Just because they're popular and effective. It's because they're cheap and easy. Not because it's the uh, the strongest thing around. Though it is... Probably the strongest thing around. Got him. Nobody's using ship-mounted weapons. Oh, oh. Well, I mean, generally speaking, ship-mounted weapons aren't as effective as the sky-mounted weapons, which I imagine shouldn't be terribly surprising. Like, why build it on the ship when you could build it not on the ship? And when it comes to, to the Phantom Commander, which we're using, I can have them on the ship. And, I mean, as you see, I'm building them on the ship, and instead of firing them from the ship, I'm putting them on the aircraft, where they're just... They have better firing angles, which is the case, like, most of the time. Like, why fire from the ship when you don't need to? Is that... When you can fire from the the aircraft. It gives Reavers a tank cannon. Yeah! It's a super strong strat. Comes highly recommended. It's the reason why Phantom is the chosen so much by this. Let's do it. Ziffle Botman. It's a liber liberator? Yes. <sighs> T3 is straight up and hard to aim, so it's straight down from an airship. T4 B1. That's just bomber strike craft. Oh no. Is Fort Ship's Phantom Band more or less neat? You spoke words, and I do not understand them. Like individually, the words make sense. Individually, the words are spelled correctly. There's nothing wrong with them. They just, in that particular sentence, mean nothing to me. If Fort's a speedrunning polybridge hard to fire, then what's this? You know, that's a good question. Rome. We need a we need a transcendental quote about what what this is. If not Polly Bridge, because Polly Bridge doesn't fly. It's more like Kerbal under fire, maybe? Question mark. Can't fly. Well, not everyone can fly. Yeah? I'm sure you can fly in Polybridge. It's not the same. Polybridge is very jank. Yes, yes, it is. Technology almost complete. People have made crazy machines. Yes, yes, they have. You see, we got another flying thing getting set up here. Looks like we're going to have an early flying craft coming in, so we have to defend against that. Right, 
it's mostly a front base issue. Mostly. close to me back here. I would prefer to have a little bit more distance here, but getting close to team is fine with me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Honestly. Now, how do I want to deal with this? So that guy's really not... I can't blast him, but he can blast me. Right, we've got one incoming. close. Alright. There it is. That'll do. Still walled. Alright. Basic ants here. Need more of it. I'll disconnect that segment. Alright, send this shot generally right here. Go next. Repair. No, it doesn't fit. All right, I'm going to adjust here. Fire last position because I don't remember because I wasn't checking to see where it landed. Zoom out, and looks like a clean hit. All 
right. Sniper down. Alright, so here is a beautiful side effect of tier threes. Um, they are direct fire weapons. Which is something a lot of people don't expect at this day and age. Missed. Hello. That's a lot of firepower. I am out of weaponry. He blew himself up, ish. Um, what that means. I'm gonna do that. Cause I don't even have the tech to fly. Not that it's gonna matter here in a minute, cause I'm getting blasted by. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. They've got too many, too many cannons. What on earth is happening here? Oh boy. They're doing an early rush with... They had one early rush. Kind of two early rushes with lots of additional firepower. And we have two not participating! Oh no. Although, uh, they have sacrificed our lives in exchange for uh, getting massive damage available. So we'll see if it pays off. I suspect it won't. Uh, but yeah, I missed the shot. I had the opportunity to wipe this guy out, and I just missed. Um, that's on me. Hmm. So close, so far away. Alright, Sam, we need you to start firing because you have a very limited life lifetime before you get blasted. And uh ideally at the dude who's directly, you know, above you. Because, uh, oh, he's coming down. Alright, Sam, this is your opportunity. There you go. Blast him. Uh-oh. It's, it's gonna get bad. Yep. Too slow. <sighs> He's just getting blasted by direct fire weapons now. What is the un what is the non-democratic abomination? The uh, non-democratic. It had five deck guns on it. Is the premium destroyer craft? Shoot a group fire. Uh, nah, he did, really didn't have the angles for it. But now they're just sitting over here blasting us with cannons. Only five double. Yeah. Five double. Uh, we need a sniper. Uh, Sam could do it. Come on. Move. 
And if Sam can get his sniper out, that would end this reign of terror pretty quickly. Oh, overpenned. I didn't expect that. Oh, invisibility is a good counter to sniper, actually. Tiara mains wish they had that much. <laughs> they do. Uh, I think it actually flew away. I don't think it exploded. I think it actually flew away. Unfortunately, there's... Yeah, it's it's above now. Oh, we're you're just going to need so much more firepower out there, dude. They have so much ants here. They were waiting... Hey, hit two different forts with one can. Overpend one, hit a second. Hey, good job with the sniper. Picking them off one by one. In a world where T bands finally figure out where the trigger is. No, they just had a different strategy. Um, this kind of thing works reasonably well. Just building up until you uh, get enough to hard blast. Sam, you gotta blast this thing. Uh, he's focusing defense. Um, problem is, with airships, if you let them have that much map control, they just kind of win by, you know, kamikaze or whatnot. Like, you can't, can't let that happen. This is another strategy where it's wait 15 minutes, you know, 12 minutes, and then start to participate. Which is just never a good strategy. Um, but it is a fun strategy. You just have to, you know, be content exploding last. Can you say come back? It's possible. Because, like, the, the two rear teammates are built up way more than the opponents are. So if they're able to... Um, if they're able to not die immediately, which thus far has happened, or thus far, you know, they haven't died immediately, then there's a comeback as possible. It's just not really likely. Like, if you can blast this and take it out, that would be probably the ideal. Because these have been mostly dismembered, or partially dismembered. This thing is still exists, making it an omnipresent threat. Alright, it is no longer exists. That's gonna give... Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho, that was close. So with this thing gone, that'll give Samster an opportunity to um, to rebuild himself substantially. This is the next immediate threat, although obviously them having this much worth of base is untenable in the long term. So Samster should have an opportunity to start rebuilding here. Uh, the top base up there is those cannons. Oh, nice! That was one of the econ economic based extensions. Like it's possible, it's just it's just not a good position to be in for team one. And I get credit to him. Front base here has taken a beating and has done everything they can to survive, which has done great work in giving Samster the time he needs to change strategies here. A good hit. It's still hanging on. This return to sender is dangerous. Oh, a beautiful hit. That's not going to be enough. Yeah, it's going to go all the way down. Yep. Alright, so that has been that has been knocked out of the air, but... Oh, oh, it crunched! Oh, my. That was the crit he needed. Alright, so that'll actually put team two... I'm going to say it pretty even-footed. Comeback is happening. If Samster can get these weapon platforms online, which it looks like he is, then we, we're going to be in a pretty good spot here. Look at that. Damage from all over the place. So Team 2 still has an economic advantage. They still have a player advantage. In terms of raw amounts of player. Uh, in terms of firepower, I'm pretty certain Team 1 has actually just taken it with the last bit of those cannons being removed. So as long as things don't suddenly get... As long as someone doesn't get door sniped here, we're probably okay. Like this is a strategy we don't see 
it's a very low percent play, the whole sit back, don't participate for 12 plus minutes and then try to try to jump into the action later because, you know, you lose two teammates before you uh, start participating at all. But, I mean, it, it's, it's happened. It happens sometimes. Front teammate here just being as much of a nuisance as he can, which is a very good thing. Those high angle cannons coming in from above. Beautiful. I am so frustrated with myself for missing the tier 3 blast. Okay, if I if I didn't miss that tier 3 blast and just if I had managed to take out that incoming aircraft at the beginning, it would have been so much more effective like i could have gone crazy with it so tier threes are amazing at i'm sorry that passed through tier threes are amazing at shutting down uh kamikaze starcraft as they fly over you just wipe them out Nobody can see. You don't need to see. You need to commit cannons. That is so many cannons. Samster, I'm so proud of you. Got up to six cannons. Top base. I'm pretty certain top base is floating money. Because I don't think they're expanding or anything. Which is a decision. Hey there, Michael. Welcome in. Over in uh, Germany. Or at least the US. Or at least the uh, US. The EU. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, and it's down. Another major airship felt. I think... I think Team One's got this. It was a rough start. But I think they got it. Switzerland? Ayo. Don't get a whole lot of Switzerlands around here. Only six? Need more. Well, he's got six and two triple barrel deck guns, so that's, you know, 12 cannon shells he's blasting out rapidly, which is kind of a lot, but... Oh, that's a heavy hit. Looks like it's got a heavy, substantial loss of control, and with it, looks like it capsized and then got blasted its weapons blasted so this ship here which is currently invisible was the kind of important to them it's changing positions it's trying to not explode uh this one is i'm going to say the most important to them because it's going to be housing looks like four cannons which will bring team two's cannons back online dock up per square foot yes more democracy per square foot, yes. We need USS Iowa levels. I'm into it. Alright. This space is getting focused a little bit. But this is the important one. Uh, looks like front base is probably about to get blasted again. Is it hit? So we're gonna miss. Got the triple cannons. No, don't desync now. Um, who desynced? Enraged mist. Enraged mist is on team two, and I believe is still in the game. Yeah, alright. Uh, we have another disconnect. Give him a chance to come back in.
having teammates sit in your base for like five minutes. I was wondering about that. Because there's a bit of overlap going on there. Alright, so it looks like Mist didn't crash out. Uh, Lederlappen, however, did. I just took two deck gun shots. Yeah. Was it two or three? Because that, that was three deck gun hits. The one that's currently, you know, being actively dismembered. Uh, with components falling off of it. There was three shots. I don't know if one of the shots got hit, taken out. I wasn't paying that much attention. Uh, but there was three of them incoming. Alright, letter lappin. Letter lappin. Come back in. Yeah, King, I would be super tempted to just start blasting the team like that. It's like, safety's off, blast them. Unfortunately, Peter Lappin is a living player on Team 1. And they have not yet returned. Hmm. Okay, uh, looks like we're just gonna have to go for it. Welcome back. So we lost a player on team one, I don't know who it is. It's not Samster. Oh! He has reconnected. Okay. Just took him a while. <laughs> Stopped you from firing at it, oh no. Alright. I'll let him come back in. Loading. And it looks like he's good. Looks like he was the front base. Oh, he's actually not loaded in yet. Like, he's still loading. Oh, massive damage. That took out probably most of his technology and heap loads of his eco. Hey, he's made it back in. So this player's probably capsized here. Cannon fort. Oh, well, not capsized. Just missing most of it. Except for the, you know, return to sender. More massive damage. Oh, we got a heavy hit. Oh, they did it. Yeah, there was four cannons in there. Again, just like last time. Took out the uh, flight. Took out the lift services. And the whole thing comes crumbling down. Team 1 with those top tier shots. Sniping out Team 2's weaponry. Ah, good shot there. Uh oh. It's happening again. You're gonna have to do it again. Alright, it's bad. It's real bad. No reaction? Uh, there's the reaction. And <laughs> the laser hit up here. You know, of all the places it could have hit, honestly, that wasn't that bad. It took out, it looks like a piece of, looks like some tech, some lift surfaces, some storages. And the uh, energy production. Um, but that's not going to be debilitating. That's just going to lower his, lower his income for a bit. He's going to have to immediately reconstruct that uh, energy production now. Because he's rocking six cannons up here. Which is very good. But one, one turbine, one of these. Oh, actually he can't reconstruct it. He's going to have to rely on these. And he's probably got an okay amount. But man, missing out on those, uh, missing out on those smokestacks hurts. Massive damage. He comes crumbling back to the ground. Good lord. These bases are getting pummeled. 
repeatedly. Oh, it's losing lift. Oh, well, that adjusted its weight sufficiently. It's out of control, and it's coming out of the sky. That's going to probably break it. Yeah, look at it. Team 2 has been officially knocked out of the sky in its entirety. All right. He goes back into the water. You can rebuild it. Yeah, it would probably be... I don't know if it's worth it at this point. I mean, he could build turbines up there if he really wants to. But I don't know if it's worth it at this point. <laughs> He's struggling for energy. But he can absolutely just go back down for a moment. Touch water. Reconstruct those uh, smokestacks. And then head back up. That's it. He tried to lift back up and just got cored out. Uh, that's another player effectively knocked out for Team 2. They still have... I just want to point out, they still have all their players alive on Team 2. None of them have been eliminated yet. But holy smokes. Are they taking a beating? What a turnaround. Seriously, Team 1 was so heavily on the back foot. This guy's trying to lift into the air again, but... Yeah, that's that's not... You need a better solution. <laughs> like cloaking. Double kill? Not double kill, but that certainly did team damage. Turn to center is dangerous. That all oh, that penned but didn't kill. Swing and a miss. And it's down. Later with the cannon coming in coming in top. Really should invest into fixing up the deformation on his base and such. Looks like he's finally getting all three of those deck guns working the way he wants them to. Rounds. Devastating. Another core, tiny core removed. Player eliminated. Uh, so there is, retu there are return to senders here, so Team 1's going to have to get EMPs to deal with that. Oh, nope. He's surrendering. You can do it! He's trying to... yeah. He's trying to become a submarine. Wow! Well, that was incredibly exciting. I did not expect that. Samster and Basti. Coming in with the late game plays. Wait until the teammates getting taken out. With little lip and barely hanging on. Turns out Zeppelins work after all. They do. Excellent, yes. Alright, so that is three rounds in this lobby. You know what that means. It is time to get a brand new lobby if you guys want to come and join now as your opportunity. Let's do it. Once more into the fray. And remember, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure to hit that follow button, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, because we've got more content like this coming out every single week. Remember, the best place to get in contact or generally interact with the community is in the Discord. You can find the link to the Discord in the description below. Alright, FX. Remove build zones and ships. Uh, conquer the skies. Four ships plus AI weapons. Oh no. Let's not do that. Hmm. You know what we could do?
Let's do this one. I haven't done this one in a while. Has uh, collisions been added to the Fort Ships main? No, not. Collisions are not a thing. Collisions are inherently not supported by forts, so I imagine it's kind of difficult. Mod getting developed with the collisions, but it's laggy. Yeah, I remember there being also um, land cruisers doing some collision adjacent stuff. Four ships collisions tweaked. Yeah, it doesn't. It's it's not amazing. It sounds like decent hell. It's certainly uh, sideways. How is the uh, hell dog was queue time since launch? Uh, there hasn't been a queue since launch. Like there was a queue on launch, and then there stopped being a queue after launch like that hasn't been a thing for since you know a launch weekend a launch week um we will attempt to do a different map first then come back to this one later Uh, specifically, let's do... Oh. Oh, no, it's just bugged. Entirely. Okay. Better. Better. <clears throat> I wonder. We can make forts sail. Could we make forts? We can make forts fly. How, how hard it be to get forts to walk? Well, there are. We we can get forts to roll. We ha we have land cruisers. That's a thing. Battleship with the flying forts. Yes. Let's do it. And motors and gears. That would certainly be interesting. Getting some real polybridge stuff.
Alright, I'll start moving this. So remember the bit where we uh, spent everything on increasing our economy and didn't actually develop defenses or technology? Holy smokes. Uh, this is going to be unwinnable, I suspect. Done. I didn't realize it was going to be this bad. Oh boy. Sacrificing one core for the great economy is worth. If only that was what happened. They came over here and blew up our core, it looks like. Alright, uh, let's get this going. Everything is on fire as usual. Yes, yes, indeed. All right. comes more destruction. Snipers, we don't have tools. It's gonna be bad. dead. I can't see it up there. Alright. That's crazy. That's regular f fort ships. Not the kind of thing we can expect going forward. Here. OK, 
can't go further out. This is understandable. Alright. Get you to here. Alright. This is this is fine too. Looks like he's getting launched, whether he wants to or not. This. My god. We have so many upgrades, no wonder we haven't been able to do anything. Should I point out, our swung core is like so flawlessly done that it's effectively invisible. It is just that difficult to see, and that makes me happy. Uh, did we lose? Yeah, we lost attack in that. Another one coming. Remove this. Oh, he moved. Okay. More cannon, or weapon in general. Okay. I missed. That's a mistake. Pretty big one too. So that looks like another, another crash, uh, which is very likely to be bringing um, everyone knocked out. All right, what are we looking at here? Tick check full from unknown client. So that's, it's not a desync. It's literally too many things updating at once, which is interesting. Okay. Game crash. It didn't crash. Um, it's the my client is getting overwhelmed with too many ticks per second. So you guys have been unable to. Uh, so obviously it, it desyncs a lot of you know everyone else. Um, a majority of players don't. A majority of players are uh, able to do that. Just don't do kamikaze. I find it, it's going to be too... Every time we have tried to do no kamikaze, someone does it and then it just... It's, I've yet to find... Unless we're doing like a, like an actual tournament match. Even in tournament style matches, it's... We see that kind of thing happen. Where it's like, oh no, it's not a kamikaze. It's just, it's just close. So I'm like, it's... I, I find it way too difficult to try to enforce that thing. Okay. 
the starting forwards. Yeah, we'll uh, uh, give it a second. Well, we'll, we'll see if anyone else, if it desyncs everyone else. Now we're good. We have returned. Yeah, we're out of tech. So that happens. That's unfortunately times. Oh, Lord have mercy. Alright, so someone joins. Everyone desynced again. Oh, this is super dead. I can't save this. Didn't need to. I didn't die. Did it again? Yeah. Jamming joins, desyncs everyone, so it would seem... We're gonna have to gonna have to just quit out of this one. All right. Well, we'll try it again. Different map. Let's see. Fort ships. So yes, so it would seem. Let's see. Ship flying. There we go. Try it again. Jamie, you need to fix that. Something's going on the near end of there. some good good flying forts action this time around his comp is downloading gigabytes of bloatware <laughs> oh no nah the, uh, it's not so bad every time he tries his ping goes to 700 plus yeah something is scuffed on his end there I'm not sure what's going on with that just don't know. I will give him a moment to find it. Speaking of bloatware, the, uh, there's been a lot of Discord hacks uh, going around recently. A lot of people getting their... Uh, accounts hacked which is you know not good I'm not sure why there's such a surge recently but um it's always concerning and remember to don't don't click links guys don't give people access to your uh to your account Don't do it. Had one of our own had one of our own uh, Discord members get hacked earlier today. Which was sad to see. If 
very sad to see. going fishing or no not like this what is it there's a I'm in the mood for hill divers, really. Such a fun time. All right. Um, I think he doesn't know how to fix that. So we're going to send him out and open up the slot for... He can join back when he gets it fixed. It is a matter of... Just a matter of... Uh, Just a matter of doing that. And it's just a kick, not a ban. You can come back immediately when he gets it. Meantime, the slot is here. Chicken Rick. Oh no. Subscribe, unsubscribe. Let's do it. Excellent, yes. I know what I want to do. I absolutely know what I want to do here. Uh, it's get more storages. Hell, that sounds like a good time. It's always a good time. But he was the true Indian prince. All he needed was my account information to get his crown. Oh, God. Uh, people be crazy wilding out there. That a lot of the um, a lot of the ones that people seem to be falling for recently are um, this more lascivious, which is I'm sure embarrassing to talk about, but still. what's been getting people recently. It does make me wonder what is actually... Like, if I could talk to someone who's gotten their account back or has managed to recover from it, like a... One of our own channel members got hit recently. And... I was really wondering... Like, when they come back, you know, if they make it back, what happens? Because... It would be nice to know, so that it can do like a, do a, uh, an announcement. Say, hey guys, this is what they're doing. Don't fall for it. Do, 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 do. 
is actually it's gonna let me connect. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I expected. It's too long. No. Alright, well, I'm just working on the next one then. It'll it'll connect. It'll stay stabilized, but uh piloting error that happens to the best of us. Just don't think about it too hard. part about this is there's a very good chance that I, you know, blow myself up doing this. Which is always, always a possibility, you know. It's never not a possibility. than I'm comfortable with. That's real wobbly out here. Alright, that'll do. Looks like we've got some standard two threes coming over from the other side as well. Already got two of them up as well. Faster than me. Which is not saying much, but... Something to do, be aware of. I don't know what just happened there, but... I need to fix this. Ow. I like being able to see the tier threes go up, but they never actually leave line of sight. And they come right back down. Oh, this time I missed. Alright. Next, I need... These three. I uh, didn't quite have the energy for that. Let's 
that's all it hits. All right, in that case, we're going to be upgrading all of these. Sweet. So I was kind of anticipating some proper uh, strike craft and strike craft action here, but looks like everyone's getting blasted out of the sky before we can make it happen. Tier threes. This guy's safe for the moment, but we've got a teammate looking at him very angrily. I will say, it is quite cool being able to watch the tier threes fly all the way up and then all the way down. Alright, so the next one that needs cannon is right here. You can fit there, but does the cannon fit here? Not oh, well, these are here. Someone's desyncing again. How? Things were barely happening. Um, so this is the... This feels like too much is happening in one tick kind of deal. Alright. Um... Player near the table. Basti desynced, followed by Chicken Rick. Blame the mod. I mean, it's definitely the mod. I'll let him come back in. I suspect he's going to be unable to rejoin, but. We'll see. Hmm. Still loading? Yes. Hitching. We're in. Welcome back. All right, Basti's reconnected. I'm gonna pause for a moment. It's a little ding. Enjoy your joining us, please, Basti. Um, if it if your rejoin causes other problems, then we'll just have to wait. So, Omnia and Basti are currently lo loading in. He's playing, playing. Alright, so it looks like everyone's back. And it's dying again. Okay, so Basti, we're going to have to ask that you don't rejoin. Uh, something has gone horribly wrong. Desynced again? Yes. Actually, wait a minute. Did Basti crash out? I don't think Basti crashed this time. He didn't crash this time. It was just Chicken Rick. No, it was just Omnia. Okay. Oh, no, now he did. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, that whole scenario is unpleasant. Oh god, someone's rejoining. I can feel it. Okay, um... We're not gonna be able to do this. Who rejoins? Yeah. Who launched the lag nuke? Yeah. You heard it. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Too much. I'll try it again. We shall rejoin. Uh, he's infinite loading, so we'll have to... 
send him back. Look for, work for like two seconds, then just froze up again. Yeah. We shall try it again. Yeah, it stops. Uh, I want to do fly on forts. I like fly on forts. It's fly on forts is fun. Welcome back. All right, so we got a slot open in the lobby, or you know, several. Your client crashed. Yeah, I don't doubt it. It got rough. It got real rough. Was a um, not a pleasant experience. Very much so, not a pleasant experience. Uh, so, Enraged came back. Lobby isn't showing. That's what I figure. I'm just recreating lobby. May have scuffed in several ways. I don't need to disable no build zones. Not this time. We'll do flying. Zeta. All right, let us try this once again. It works good, good. Let's do it. And finally beat a match. I'm glad you enjoy. Uh, as we know, these modded matches can be decent key, but still fun. You know, at least until they break. Breaking things is half of what we do around here, yeah? jumping back into the action. I kind of like the idea of just doing tier threes. Especially from this position. So it means I can do madness. Um, need another one of these. Then may as well. <laughs> do two, three, go. I believe I shall. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> Max this out. Get some more storages. Remember to not put batteries on the bottom layer. That it matters too, too much. Traditional tier 3? Yes, traditional tier 3. Best tier 3. Like, actually, though. We already have incoming airships. Do, 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 do. Right, 
here and up here. Nice. Swing it. No, don't crash. Okay, he's good. He's fine ish. This will do nicely. So close to connecting, just not quite. I should just construct a bunch of them and then connect them up later. Because it takes a moment for them to stop moving anyways. Come on, give. That is not good. Is that the only one that made it? That's fine. Dude. What are you doing? I see. to have a player eliminated, which is, you know, unpleasant. This is the world in which we live. Alright, I have an upgrade center. Good. No, that's not what I wanted. I want this, please. Give this. Right. Can I get underneath this? I mean, technically, yes, but not with that shot in particular. Um, I need you anywhere else so I can cross brace this, because this is going to be an issue if I don't. Yeah, that's why we did that. That's exactly why we did that. And this is almost done. Up it goes. We yeah, have several more incoming. Between. Gotta fix that. Alrighty. Uh, let's get this shifted. Put another cannon here. Back 
better aimed. Yes, these should be. Why are you not? Okay. I didn't see where those landed. At least not exactly. Uh, so we have one here, which means this needs to be shifted, probably. Uh, I might be able to make it. Oh, Lord have mercy. So I need one of you here, you here, here. This should be able to fit here. It does. Unfortunately, that means that this is not going to work. So we have to do this. All right, let's see where this lands. Exactly where I wanted it to. real deep here. Uh, I don't know if that's the best target to be hitting, though. Let's change targets again. Probably a better target here. Alright, um, let's do a little bit of adjustment. So I can do this here, but what I need to do is this and this. At least for a moment. Is that thing really still alive up there? Yes, yes it is. gone. This might be right in the line of fire. It's close, but not quite. Almost got a door snipe. Need to be slightly further out, I think, for more consistency on that shot. Uh, but next one's hanging from here, so we build it here. I don't have the energy for it anymore. And that's why. Ah. <sighs> Oh, uh, that wasn't me. These, however, are coming for me. They are not coming for me. These are... Almost good hits. All right. Now I should be able to afford this. Try this again. I'm sorry, what is... Frozen? What is happening? Why is there screaming at me? Hello there, Radicator. Welcome in. 
Hmm. Welcome back there, Death. Something has gone wrong with this map and it's screaming at us, and I dislike that immensely. Uh, but the player Death is loading in right now. And they're in again. Okay. Feeling some hitching, but... Oh. Apparently this game has a uh, non-sound-based OST, non-music-based OST in it, which makes me incredibly unhappy. That's just a sound effect that's not music, and therefore it isn't controlled by the music slider. I shouldn't have done that because now I don't have the energy to fire! I'm gonna have to do this again. Alright. Again. Oh, someone's desyncing again. Death is desyncing and causing. I th death desynced, and something else has gone on here. Looks like a cascade. Alright, um, so we're just. I think we're done with flying forts for tonight. Uh, we're just gonna. We're just gonna let that go. Um,. It's been a good time. You know what? You know what? I think we're just going to... Uh, I think we're just going to wind it down here. It's been a good stream. Great stream. Love to see it. I'm going to keep doing more stream things. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that follow button. Because we got more content. Uh, generally speaking, it, you know, works. It comes out every single week. They rejoined and desync to everyone. Yep. Yep. That's, that's the case. That's not unsurprising when it comes to flying forts. Uh, whenever flying forts happens, um, it's it's difficult to get flying forts to resync because once the desync happens, which can happen for any minor reason, um, trying to resync is a problem. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and wind it down here. Look forward to doing some more. Uh, but for now, have a good night, everyone. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to send you guys on Twitch off to the friend of mine. Looks like they're playing Zero Space, which is an RTS game we checked out a while back. Uh, I like it. It's good. Uh, but for now, see you guys next time.